Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and some of my iPhone 4 accessories have started to arrive. I ordered uh, the bumper and the dock and both arrived today. Today is June 28th. I received the iPhone on June 23rd. So let's go ahead and unbox it and take a look. Now if we take a look around the case, it's a mixture of shiny black finishes along with a rubberized matte finish along the edges. This also carries over to the inside which has a shiny surface along with a rubberized edge that makes contact with the glass. And these physical buttons on the outside which mirror the finish of those on the iPhone itself. On the inside it's just a little flat plate that pushes against the buttons themselves. So you can kind of see that it just sits in there loosely and you tap it and it sort of rocks back and forth. Same goes for the lock switch. You look inside, the little button moves around. Of course we have little portholes for the headphone jack and the noise cancellation microphone. And of course on the bottom we see the recessed edge for the USB cable or dock and the portholes for the speakers. So let's put this on the phone and see how it looks. Okay, so we see my iPhone here. I'm just gonna slip this in. Okay, I see the only trick here is making sure that the rubber edge is not hung up on the inside of the phone. So it looks like I got that one eased out. Looks like this one I gotta move around a bit. Kinda gotta rock it back and forth and that seems to release them. So just do this. Okay, we got it on nice and evenly now. It seems to fit pretty tightly. Now it's kinda loose, it does uh, flex a bit. I'm not sure if it's going to peel off or not. Looks like it's on there pretty securely. So let's just take a look around the iPhone. We can see the port for the headphone and the microphone. So we see the duplicate lock switch. Just tap that and it'll go off. And here we can see the speaker and microphone are clear. You can see the dock here and with the recessed edge, which nicely covers the area around the dock port itself. And the volume controls feel pretty good. Unfortunately, it looks like there's not enough room to stick your finger in here to turn the mute switch on and off. So that might be a deal breaker for me right there. Because I have to turn this on and off a lot. As you can see, it's pretty deeply recessed. We can also see that the edge of the case is raised so that it keeps it off the surface when you do lay it flat. It also should protect it when you drop it, assuming that you drop it on an even surface. Now that I've installed the case, I can say that it fits pretty nicely. It looks pretty attractive. It's got a nice black finish, which mirrors that of the iPhone itself. It has a nice rubberized finish, so it feels good in the hand and makes it more stable on the surface. The duplicate buttons on the outside are also very attractive. It maintains the look of the phone itself. The ports are nicely accessible while still covering the phone. Now the only problem I'm going to see is the mute switch, which is very difficult to get access to. I can't quite stick my finger in here very easily, so I need to have a fingernail to use this. Uh, certainly can't do this in my pocket without looking like I used to. But otherwise it's a nice slim case that complements the phone's design quite well. I don't think I'll be looking for another case unless this becomes an issue. Once again this is Detroit Borg with a unboxing and review of the Apple iPhone 4 bumper. Thanks for watching.